Vlogs. We are on part two of our weird band scary Barbie unboxings. Today we have the Teen Talk Barbie, which we already took out of the packaging. And I just want to say, after the last video, everyone thought I was swearing. I was saying midge, not B-I-T-C-H. But like every comment was like, oh my gosh, she sweared. Coming out, midge. I said get out of the box, midge. It does sound pretty dang close. I said midge. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so today we're opening Teen Talk Barbie. If you have not seen in my video where I talked about these dolls, she was sort of banned. And when I say that, I mean they came out with these original ones. And one of the lines that she says was banned. So they had to pull back these Barbies, remake slash program them to not say the phrase, math is hard. Spooky indeed. So spooky. No, so many parents thought that that would turn their kids off of wanting to try in math or do math because if Barbie doesn't like math, I don't want to do math either. That's what parents were saying. People were outraged. They wanted Barbie to say more positive things, not negative things. I kind of get it, but at the same time, once again, is it the end of the world? I don't think so. It might be. Is it? Math I, is hard. <laughs> it, it, it is hard, but <laughs> it doesn't mean you shouldn't try in it. No, obviously not. Math does actually help. It does. The teachers are right. We're old enough to know this now. This Barbie right here, Teen Talk, came out in 1991. So this Barbie is older than me. This Barbie is what, 30 years old? Yeah. What is math? Math is hard. 30, 30 years old. Exactly. So this is really old. On the listing, I got this from eBay. I think it was around $100. So expensive, but it is a 30 year old collectible Barbie. It did say the package has not been opened. It looks like it's been opened. Because basically, if you have the Barbie that says math is hard, it is worth thousands of dollars right now because that was the banned Barbie. So I got this hoping to see if we had the math is hard Barbie, but I feel like they peeked inside already to see. Because obviously they're gonna look because they could sell it for more, right? Right? Can we trust them? I don't know. Usually most toys that talk have like the try me kind of like little cut out in the side of the box So you can like poke it. Not these ones. How are they supposed to talk though? I don't know, but she is strapped in so she hasn't been used per se But we're gonna open her up. So on the back it shows you the different things She says Barbie likes the same activities. I like oh, she's saying that she's saying that Barbie says you're my best friend. Let's dance I just switched I love to shop, don't you? Want to have a pizza party? Yeah. Barbie doesn't eat pizza. Who she fooling? She needs to have some pizza. All right, so we're gonna open this. Hold on. Maybe it wasn't open before. Or maybe they glued it back in. Maybe they glued it back in, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna inhale like dust from the early 90s. I mean, if they did previously do this, they were really gentle with it because I'm already ripping it. So I don't know how they would have gone into it. the spoon it smells like cigarettes someone definitely breathed in this it wasn't the person at the factory packing the Barbies oh. the early 90s was a lawless time Jess we were still know. allowed to smoke inside buildings they were smoking they were like oh, and then closed it up keeps it preserved she's taped to it she's like, like <laughs> her hair is taped to it it looks like someone threw it against the wall oh it's not a spoon it's a comb with dirty magnets inside. I'm pretty confident those are the batteries. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna work. They're like leaking. Okay, what do you poke? What do you poke? What do you poke to make her speak? Well, I know for you, if I poke you in the eye, you'll definitely speak. Oh, I'll scream. Do you wanna, do you wanna do this again? Why do they do it like this? Why can't they just make something that like just pops right out, you know? Because that would be reasonable, Jess. Anyways, we're gonna figure out where to put the batteries in her. We don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. As with most people, she has a latch in the back where you put the batteries in. A latch in the back? Mm -hmm. They're a little leaky. 
You think it'll be okay? There's, there might be a touch of battery acid, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay. And try not to get it on our hands. If it doesn't work, there is actually there a is trick, instructions. But there is actually a trick to deal with kind of the corrosion on it. Yeah. I have fixed batteries that have been like this before. But we can just buy new ones. It literally says what batteries to use. So if it doesn't work. If these batteries still exist. <laughs> They've gotta exist. We'll give this a shot. It says you need two or three. Surgery time. Watch when she just starts talking, like the second you put the third one in. I'd, I'd probably jump a little bit. What kind of hat is that? Looks like a toilet seat. One that I'd buy in all honesty. Mm. Okay, ready? This is the ultimate reveal truth. Do we have- Words. <laughs> do we have the band Barbie? Ready? She clucked. She clucked. She went, uh, that's it. What are we gonna do? Talk G to me. Give us a second. All right, so Ty cleaned the batteries. We don't suggest ever doing that. Definitely go buy new ones. If you have rusty or leaky ones, do not try and clean them yourselves. We're now gonna try to press our button and see what happens. There's so much hair, that's, that's the problem. Teaching kids is great. Teaching kids is great. Let's try out dresses. Let's try on dresses. My life is a silk jumper. What was that? What? My life is a silk jumper? I'd love to visit new places. I love to visit new places. Teaching kids is great. Let's try on dresses. Okay, this next one, <laughs> I need to listen carefully. My horse is a show jumper. My horse is a show jumper, right? I think so. Or my life is a silk jumper. I think my horse is a show jumper. What is she even wearing anyway? Basically what you wear when you go to the horse races in all honesty. Very odd hats, very colorful yeah. clothes. No one's wearing this to a horse race. No one's wearing this anywhere. Who dressed you? I kid you not, Jess. I kid you not. How many horse shows have you been to? Zero, but... How many have I been to? All the girls are wearing this. Some are. No, they're not. <laughs> Look, she's gonna get a sunburn right there. She's gonna come home and be like, why does my head hurt? Hey, well, maybe Hats like that hat. exist. Men wear them, they're called visors. Is that the rest of her hat? No, this is shorts, but you know what? We can just help out her situation a little bit. Anyways, so clearly we did not have the banned Barbie. I really hope that we did. But still, technically this Barbie was very controversial and had a point where it was banned until they fixed it, but yeah. Comment down below if you've ever owned this Barbie with the math is hard. Math is hard, honestly. It is, but it's a good challenge. It is. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Very interesting. Not as fun as it was to play with, with the pregnant Barbie. That was fun. That was really fun. I mean, this one had more uh, chances of getting chemical burns, so let's, uh, let's just leave it at that. She's dangerous. Okay, so we're going to let you know the next four horror movies that we watched. All right, so the next horror movie on our list was Mom and Dad from 2017. This was a Nicolas Cage movie. A teenage girl and her younger brother must survive a wild 24 hours during which a mass hysteria of unknown origin causes parents to turn violently on their own kids. So Ty and I both gave this a five. I think it's worth the watch. It's not amazing, but it's a Nicolas Cage movie. Like, Cage I feel like rage. Cage rage, yes. Cage rage. <laughs> You know what you're getting into like before you start the movie, it's Nicolas Cage. Then we watched Radius from 2017. A man wakes up with no memory of who he is and finds that everyone who comes within a certain distance of him suddenly dies. So Ty and I both gave this a seven. I think it was a very, very unique concept. We've never seen anything like it before, which was intriguing. It was a good mystery movie. You wondered what was gonna happen next, how he's gonna fix this problem. It was pretty well done, it was actually. Really, yeah, it's like it was an indie movie. Like not a, not a lot of people know about it, but it was good. Very good, worth the watch for sure. And very suspenseful. It's they did a good, good job. Watch it. Then we watched It Comes at Night from 2017. I know this is already a controversial movie. People love it or they hate it. And you'll find out what we thought in a second. Secure within a desolate home as an unnatural threat terrorizes the world, a man has established a tenuous domestic order with his wife and son. Then a desperate young family arrives seeking refuge. So it's sort of like, what, an apocalyptic Post-apocalyptic Post movie. Yes. So they're stuck in this house in the middle of the forest. I thought it'd be more horror-y. There was zero horror elements at all, really. I mean, aside from like scary dreams that one of the characters is having. I did not enjoy it. It just left me like wanting something scary that never happens. It's so. like artsy horror and that's not the fun horror. I put it even more as like a drama thriller. Even, it's not even really thriller. I don't know, it wasn't that good. I gave it a two, Ty gave it a four. 
It was okay. It's well acted. Yeah, the actors were great. It's it, just it seems boring. kind of realistic, but yeah. when it's called, it comes at night. You're kind of expecting something. Nothing came. And that's kind of a spoiler, but don't watch it anyway, so who cares? Then we watch 1922 from 2017. A simple yet proud farmer in the year 1922 conspires to murder his wife for financial gain, convincing his teenage son to assist, but their actions have unintended consequences. So this was a Stephen King novel. Um, Novella. Novella. We gotta be specific about we gotta that. Gotta be correct. We both gave it a five. I think it's worth the watch. It wasn't amazing but it wasn't bad it was good especially if you like stephen king movies or maybe you read like to read his books you'll probably and it actually is a horror movie because it's it pretty was. dang creepy it was very creepy it was very well done it's not a movie i'd watch again but i think it's worth the watch so definitely check it out if you can it's on netflix but yeah those are the next four movies that we watched we'll keep you guys posted on the new ones but yeah hope you enjoyed us unboxing creepy band barbies if you want us to continue doing stuff like this give this video a thumbs up and let us know but we hope you have a good rest of your day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! See you guys.